Hi, and welcome to Shields Cooking Global, and today we're going to make a really good. Start by separating approximately 10 eggs for 200 grams of egg yolk. Then pour half a liter of whipped cream in a pan. This together with half a liter of milk and 200 grams of sugar. Now cut open a vanilla pot and scrape out the seeds. Add this to the cream mixture and bring it to a boil. Meanwhile mix the egg yolks with 80 grams of flour. Then slowly mix your cream mixture with the yolk mixture. Pour this back into the pan and while stirring cook it to the right consistency. Now pour this to a sieve. Cover it with plastic foil and let it cool down in your fridge. After this mix 80 grams of butter with 100 grams of sugar. Then also knead 100 grams of flour through this mixture. Now roll this between two parchment papers until it's 2 mm thick. Freeze this in your freezer. Then pour 100 grams of water in a pan. This together with 100 grams of milk, 5 grams of sugar and 5 grams of salt and 100 grams of butter. Heat this until the butter is melted. Now mix in 120 grams of flour. Then cook it on a low fire until the dough starts to shine. Then let the dough cool down for 5 minutes. After that, mix in piece by piece 4 eggs. Put the dough in a piping bag and pipe on one sheet small rounds. On the other sheet you can pipe bigger rounds. Then cut the dough to the shape of the rounds and put them on top. Bake them at 200 degrees Celsius for about 50 minutes. Meanwhile pour 135 grams of water in a pan. This together with 180 grams of whipped cream and 270 grams of sugar. Then soak 6 leaves of gelatin in cold water. Now mix 90 grams of cocoa powder through the cream mixture and while stirring bring this to a boil. After that dissolve your gelatin in it. Put it through a sieve and while covered let it cool down. Then fill your shoe pastry with the pastry cream. After that, dip the top in the chocolate glaze. Now put the small shoe pastries on the big ones and finish it off with a raspberry. Bon appetit!